Hello everyone, welcome back. In the first two videos, we have covered the overview of Cassandra and what are all the softwares that are required for setting up Cassandra cluster. In this video, we will discuss about how to install a Linux operating system on a virtual machine. So in the previous video, we have discussed we require five of the tools uh, for Cassandra cluster setup. One is VMware, CentOS, Apache Cassandra, JDK, and Mobile Xterm. So now we have all the tools that are required. Go ahead and install VMware Workstation. This is very simple, simple GUI. Just keep on clicking next, next, next. So once you install VMware Workstation, open VMware Player. And now click on create a new virtual machine, browse and then select the CentOS ASO which you have already downloaded. Click on next, give any name CentOS Node 3, any name whatever you like and allow some space. Next and click on finish. So now we are going to install CentOS 7, select the install CentOS 7, then press enter. Again press the enter key to begin the installation process. So it loads all the required packages and it's installing. After this process, you will be seeing a GUI where the progress of the progress of the OS installation is showed, as well as it asks you to choose the root password and the creation of username. Many things. We will see that in a short. Here it is. So let's choose the language, and then click on continue. Here there are many options, you can ignore all and just, this is very important, network and hostname, click on network and hostname, Ethernet, even though you are connected to Wi-Fi, make it on and you can see the IP address and subnet mask, default route and DNS and choose a hostname, turnmodeon.com any name whichever you like learn more on .com. and then press apply and then done you see here some exclamation mark it says it needs your attention just open it and uh, nothing to do over here just press again done so now you see the begin installation button is highlighted now you can click on begin installation then the installation process has started it goes on in the background. The meanwhile, let's do some user setting. Create a root password and create one of the new users. Root password, choose whatever you want and press done button twice. And then create an user, any user. And I want to make it an administrator. And then create a password for it. Click on done double time. Now it takes quite some time, I'm gonna pause this video and come back once the installation is completed. Yeah, the installation of CentOS is now successful. Click on reboot. It's asking for a login. Type root and the password which you have given during the installation process so let's check the IP oh, sorry so this is the IP we already got now let's try to check the internet connection ping google.com so we are getting the reply from Google servers 
ls so this is it we have installed send os on virtual machine in the next video static ip configuration why do we need static ip configuration all we will discuss in the next video thank you very much